Hey guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. I'm going to show you how to tether boot your iDevice. In this example, I'm of course using an iPhone 4, but the same applies for any of the iPhones or an iPod Touch or an iPad for that matter. So to perform a tether boot, the first thing you want to do is to put your device into DFU mode. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. If you haven't seen our tutorial on DFU mode, you can check that out as well. I have a video on that. So first thing, you want to go ahead and plug in your 30 pin cable, make sure it's hooked up to your Mac or PC, and then you want to hold the home and power button and hold those for 10 seconds. So after you hold those for 10 seconds, you want to release the power button and continue holding the home button just as I'm doing right now. Hold the home button for an additional 10 seconds and then after that you should notice just a black screen on your device here. So that's all you should see is just a black screen. You'll probably see iTunes pop up if you have iTunes configured to open uh, once it detects recovery mode. So let's head over to our Mac right now. Same thing works on a PC. Open up Red Snow and then you should see the jailbreak and extras button. You want to click the extras button to do a tether boot and then you should see at the top just boot and you see right here just boot tethered right now. So click just boot. It'll ask you to put your phone in the DFU mode but we've already done that so that's why we go ahead and do it earlier just to get it out of the way and then you'll see it exploiting with line rain then you'll see it uploading the first stage then uploading the second stage and then waiting for reboot. So our tethered boot is about halfway finished we just need to get to the uploading kernel portion, which should be happening right about now. Now rebooting, and we should be done. So let's head back over to our iPhone. You should see the black screen, but that should change here in a second and show our boot logo. Normally you'll see a pineapple logo indicating a tethered boot, but here I've changed my boot logo to a custom logo. And as you can see, it's the IDB logo right there from my custom boot logo. I'll show you how to do that in another video. But that is how you perform a tether boot. It's super simple, it's super easy, and this will take a while to continue. Let's go ahead and speed it up here. And then in a few seconds, you'll see the boot logo go away and then you'll see your lock screen. So that is, again, how you perform a tethered boot on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.